we want to solve the given initial value problem using the technique of separation of variables. So notice in this problem we're given the differential equation that we want to solve, but we're also given an initial condition, y of zero equals two. This is going to allow us to find the constant of integration and therefore the particular solution rather than just the general solution to the differential equation. And because we're going to solve this using separation of variables, we're going to write the differential equation in the form where we have a function of y times dy on one side of the equation and a function of x times dx on the other side. So for dy dx equals three x plus one, we can just multiply both sides of the equation by dx or write this in differential form. So we'd have dy equals the quantity three x plus one times dx. Now that it's in the correct form, we can now integrate both sides of the equation and then solve for y. If it's helpful, we can put a one here. The integral of one with respect to y would just be y plus a constant of integration. But because we'll also have a constant of integration on the right side of the equation, we'll go ahead and just put the constant once on the right. So we'll have y equals, now for the integral of three x plus one with respect to x, we're going to have three times the integral of x to the first, which would be x to the second, divided by two, plus the integral of one with respect to x, which would be x plus our constant of integration. So the general solution to this differential equation is y equals, this would be three halves x squared plus x plus our constant of integration. But now, because we know y of zero equals two, we can actually find the value of c and therefore find the particular solution to this IVP. Since we know y of zero equals two, y of zero would be equal to replacing x with zero, we'd have three halves times zero squared plus zero plus c, but this must equal positive two. And since this would be zero and this would be zero, we can tell that c must equal two which means the particular solution to this initial value problem would be y equals three halves x squared plus x plus two. Now let's finish by taking a look at the solution to this graphically. If we graph this differential equation, we would have the given red slope field, where each segment here represents the slope of the tangent line to any function that would be a general solution to this given differential equation. But notice if we know y of zero equals two, that means our function, or the particular solution, must contain the point zero two, or this point here, and therefore our particular solution would be this blue function here, which is the particular solution that we found as the solution to this problem. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.